loose every one of us. And everyone in town knew Johnny Lee Wilson, an easygoing, mentally challenged 20-year-old with the emotional development of a third grader. Johnny had been lovingly raised by his mother and grandmother. I was in March. On school days, Johnny would often leave his bicycle with Mrs. Pauline Marks, afraid that his classmates might vandalize it. Pauline was a close friend of Johnny's grandmother. At 79, Pauline was the last surviving member of the wealthiest family in Aurora and owned the town's 